Hello students, in the 11th standard chemistry, lesson number 6, gaseous state. So in that, the concept today we are going to see is van der Waals equation. Dear students, van der Waals is the name of a scientist. Okay. And he was the one who attempted first about to derive an gas to explain the behavior of non-ideal gases. That is real gas today behavior explain pandra He derived an equation and it is called as real gas equation. And also it, is, it has been called by his name Van der Waals. And so this equation is called as Van der Waals equation. Okay, well? okay ma'am. Dear students, we know about ideal gas equation and under what conditions the gases can behave ideally those are the concepts we have seen in the previous videos so based on those concepts we are going to derive an equation called van der waals equation okay mama okay and we saw that no gas behaves ideally under ordinary temperature and pressure in the gas may ideal gas all the gases are real gases the real gases can be made to behave ideally under certain conditions okay so those conditions we have seen what are those conditions can we remember yes under uh, low pressure and very high temperatures so under those two conditions the gases can behave ideally okay so based on the assumptions given by the kinetic theory of gases van der waals made two corrections in the pressure term as well as in the volume term and by combining these two he gave an equation to explain the real behavior of the gases okay mama okay the pressure and volume corrections are given in an elaborated way in your textbook but i didn't explain this because uh, the government may reduce the syllabus for 11th standard so during that time that may be reduced so i didn't take that one only the final equation i have taken okay so the correction made by van der waals is p ideal that is equal to p plus a n square by v square pressure term we are adding a term that is a n square by v square here a is called as van der waals constant van der waals constant so this is the corrected form of pressure so for ideal for a gas to behave ideally there is a correction term added in the pressure that is p ideal is equal to p plus a n square by v square here what is a a is a van der waals constant likewise in the same way there is some correction added in the volume value so v ideal that is equal to v minus n b here also b is the van der waals constant so this is the corrected form of volume v ideal that is equal to v minus n b okay by combining these two uh, we are going to derive an equation for real gases we know ideal gas equation P V that is equal to N R T, isn't it? Yes. So in this equation, we are going to replace the terms P and V, and there is a new equation is generated by Van der Waals. Here, look at this equation. Instead of the pressure term, what we have written P plus A N square by V square. In the same way, instead of this V volume term what we have written v minus n b that is equal to n r t so this is the corrected form of the equi gas equation to explain the real behavior of gases so what is the equation p plus a n square by v square into v minus n b that is equal to n r t it is nothing but it is normal ideal gas equation p v is equal to n r t instead of normal pressure and normal volume we have introduced the corrected form of pressure and volume so p plus a n square by v square into v minus n b that is equal to n r t remember this equation students because based on this equation next we are going to derive and uh, derive an equation called van der waals equation okay mama okay Okay, dear students, in your textbook, next to that Van der Waals equation, there is a concept called Andrews isotherm is given, but I didn't teach the Andrews isotherm, that I will teach when the school reopens. Okay, but from the Andrews isotherms, only the important definitions I have taken. Okay, so all these definitions are related with 
the conversion of a gas into liquid adavadhu or gas vandu endha temperature la liquid a maarudhu so about that uh, andrews isotherm was used to explain but i didn't explain the andrews isotherm now only the definitions we are going to explain so in this slide we are going to see three definitions those are critical temperature tc critical pressure pc and critical volume vc so these are the three terms we are going to define now what are they critical temperature critical pressure and critical volume first let us see what is called as critical temperature so this is the definition for critical temperature students a temperature above which the gas cannot cannot be liquefied even at high pressure poduvave generally when a gas will be liquefied means when we apply higher pressure pressure adhigama kudukumbodu gas vandu liquid a maarum but it, it uh, the liquefied the liquefaction of gases will takes place only up to a particular temperature and the temperature ku mele nama evlo dhaan pressure kudutalum the gas molecules cannot be converted into liquid molecules so that particular temperature is called as critical temperature okay so that is defined here what is critical temperature means a temperature above which the gas cannot be liquefied even at high pressure pressure high ah irundhalum the gas cannot be liquefied so that particular temperature is called as critical temperature then another definition is critical pressure so critical pressure in the sense the minimum pressure required to liquefy one mole of a gas at its critical temperature so critical temperature we know what is critical temperature and the temperature ke mele the gases cannot be ஒவ்வொரு கேஸுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு கிரிட்டிக்கல் டெம்பரேச்சர் வேல்யூ இருக்குமா இது ஒரு கான்ஸ்டன்ட் டெம்பரேச்சர் கிடையாது இப்போ சிஓ டூ மே ஹாவ் அ பர்டிகுலர் டிசி வேல்யூ ஹைட்ரஜன் மே ஹாவ் அ பர்டிகுலர் டிசி வேல்யூ அண்ட் ஸோ ஆன் எவ்ரி கேஸ் வில் ஹாவ் செப்பரேட் வேல்யூ ஆஃப் டிசி ஸோ அந்த எந்த கேஸ் நம்ம எடுக்கிறோமோ அந்த கேஸோடைய கிரிட்டிக்கல் டெம்பரேச்சரில் எவ்வளோ ப்ரெஷர் கொடுத்தா ஒன் மோல் ஆஃப் தட் பர்டிகுலர் கேஸ் வில் பி லிக்யூஃபைடு ஸோ தட் ப்ரெஷர் இஸ் ஸ்டாம்ப் அஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் pressure so what is critical pressure ma the minimum pressure required to liquefy one mole of a gas at its critical temperature or gas liquid a maatradhukku endha temperature maintain pandrom at its critical temperature so during that time the pressure we apply for the conversion of the gaseous substances into liquid substance is termed as critical pressure and it is denoted by the symbol pc okay ma is it clear yes the next concept we are going to next definition we are going to see is critical volume we are going to define what is called as critical volume okay so it is defined as the volume occupied by one mole of a gas at its critical temperature and critical pressure so on the gas ode critical temperature layum adinode critical pressure value layum how much volume it occupies the volume occupied by one mole of the gas at its critical temperature and critical pressure is termed as critical volume okay mama i think you may not have any doubt in these three definitions isn't it yes let us recollect one more time the definitions what are the definitions we have seen in this slide the first one is critical temperature so what is critical temperature a temperature above which the gas cannot be liquefied even at high pressure that is called as critical temperature then critical pressure is the minimum pressure required for liquefying one mole of a gas at its critical temperature value then what is critical volume means the volume occupied by one mole of a gas at its critical temperature and critical pressure so these three are the definitions we have seen in this slide then in the next slide we will we will see how to derive these values the tc pc and vc values from the van der waals equation nam already or van der waals equation paathom adu thana p plus a n square by v square into v minus n b that is equal to n r t so that was the van der waals equation so by using that van der waals equation how to derive the values of tc pc and vc so that we can see continuously okay ma the next concept we are going to see is derivation of critical constants from van der waals constant okay so this is we know van der waals equation ideal gas equation la there was some corrections made included in the pressure term and volume term 
and so this new equation was proposed by van der Waals equation so by using this van der Waals equation we are going to derive the values of VC PC and TC that is critical temperature critical pressure and critical volume it's very 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 important five mark question we can surely expect in the final examination so listen attentively about this derivation okay one more. so in the first step i have taken the the equation which was given by van der waals now let us proceed the derivation okay the first condition is if we consider one mole of gaseous molecules so if you take one mole means all the n terms will be one so instead of n we have to use the value one okay so by applying n is equal to 1 this equation will be modified into p plus a by v square into v minus b because in this n term we have used 1 okay so v minus b that is equal to r t okay well, then we are multiplying both the terms this term is multiplied by this term first let us multiply using the term v okay well, so p into v that is p v then a by v square into v so it will be like this a by v square into v so v v cancelled so that we are getting a divided by v okay, well? okay then we can multiply using this b term here minus is there no so minus b first multiply p with this minus b so we will be getting minus P B then a by v square into minus b means we can write minus a b by v square then we can bring this r t this side here it is in the positive sign so when it comes to the left hand side it will become negatively sign so a b by minus a b by v square <coughs> minus r t that is equal to zero okay mama okay then what we are going to do is we are going to multiply this equation using the term v square by P. the entire equation we are going to multiply by v square p v square by p let us multiply and see how this term came okay let us take the first term pv so pv into v square divided by p so p p cancelled v into v square becomes v cube the next term a by v so a divided by v into v square by p v v cancelled remaining we have a v divided by p so the second term is a v divided by p then minus p b is here so minus p b into uh, v square divided by p p p cancelled so what will be there minus b v square is there that is the third term we have written the next uh, minus a b by v square so a b divided by v square into v square divided by p v square v square cancelled remaining we have a b a b divided by p so a b divided by p next is minus r t here there is no volume as well as pressure term so nothing will be cancelled just we can add and write so minus r t v square by p that is equal to zero okay mama in the next step what we will do is we will rearrange this equation in terms of the coefficients of v. Pingaparanga v cube term is there. Then v square, v square. Then v, it is a constant term. So based on these coefficients, we are going to rearrange this equation in the decreasing powers of v. V would be decreasing powers. First v cube term, then v square term, then v term, then finally constant term. Okay, well, so that we can see now okay so by rearranging first the terms v with the terms of v cube adu ore ore term da irundhu so apdi potutom adutha v square ude terms la rendu terms irundhuchi adanal minus velil eduthittu r t by p plus b into v square appra v ude term a by p into v then finally constant term okay va minus a inga vandu endha or v term um irukada so we can call it as a term of constant a b by p that is equal to 0 okay well, okay next what we are going to do is instead of v here simply we have used the term v volume then temperature pressure so instead of all these terms we are going to use the critical temperature critical pressure and critical volume terms so v can be replaced by vc p can be replaced by pc and t can be replaced by tc 
okay va okay so out of these three first let us take this term alone v is equal to vc so we have taken v is equal to vc then we can bring this vc to the left hand side so the equation will become like this v minus vc that is equal to zero then we are going to cube this equation v minus vc the whole cube is equal to zero dear students here we have to use the formula a minus b the whole cube do you know the formula for a minus b the whole cube yes it is a cube minus 3 b a square that is 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus 3 b cube so this is the formula i have used here to expand this term here this is a and this is b so a minus b the whole cube that is equal to 0 let us apply this equation first a cube so b cube minus 3 into a square b here a is v so v square then b is vc so 3 v square vc plus 3 into a b square here a ingirad enadhuma v so v then b ku badala vc so vc square minus b cube sorry inga 3 varadhu b mattum varum okay va okay so minus b cube adanalai inga b ingirad vc so minus vc cube that is equal to 0 so this equation is expanded like this okay mama okay using the formula a minus b the whole cube now we are going to compare these two equations here also the coefficient starting from v cube here also v cube then um, v square v square then v v then constant term so we are going to Uh, compare these two equations or we are going to equate the coefficients of v cube v square v and constant terms okay v cube la equate pandradhukku onnume illa because here the here also the coefficient is 1 and here also the coefficient is 1 so we cannot equate the coefficients of v cube then we can start from v square so parunga v square ku munnadi minus 3 vc is there here in front of v square what is there minus rc by p plus b is there okay well okay so we can get the get an equation of v3 vc is equal to rt by p plus b that we can see in the next slide okay ma'am so by comparing those two equations we have got uh, 3 vc is equal to rtc by pc plus b then 3 vc square is equal to a by pc puriyudala ma'am eppadi vanduchu nu theriyudala idu parunga இங்க வந்து 3 vc இருக்குது இங்க என்ன இருக்குது rt by p plus b அத தான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட்ல கொடுத்திருக்கிறேன் 3 vc is equal to rtc by pc plus b னு கொடுத்திருக்கிறேன் அடுத்து செகண்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் பாருங்க இங்க v உடைய கோஎஃபிஷியன்ட் -3 vc ஸ்கொயர் இருக்குது இங்க v உடைய கோஎஃபிஷியன் a by p இருக்குது அது pc ஆ மாத்துவோம் அப்படிதான் சோ அதனால நமக்கு கிடைக்கிறது என்னன்னா செகண்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன்ல 3 vc ஸ்கொயர் is equal to a by pc அடுத்து थर्ड ஈக்குவேஷன் பாருங்க இங்க vc cube இங்க ab by p ரெண்டுக்கும் மைனஸ் இருக்கிறதுனால we can neglect the minus terms so simply we can write vc cube is equal to ab by pc so three equations we have got equation number 1 equation number 2 and equation number 3 okay next what we are going to do is we are going to divide the equation 3 by equation 2 in the equation in the equation la divide panna porom okay va okay so we can get an equation of this type vc cube divided by 3 vc square that is equal to here what is the term ab divided by pc in the we know from the lower classes itself instead of dividing what we can do we can take reciprocal and multiply so ab by pc into pc by a now cancel the terms a a cancelled then pc pc cancel then vc square here vc cube is there no so two two vcs we can cancel remaining one vc will be there okay so this equation will become here one vc is there no so vc divided by 3 that is equal to b ipo na vc mattum vena appadina you can bring this 3 this side so that we will be getting vc is equal to 3b so one of the critical constant value we have derived our motive is to derive the values of vc pc and tc in the beginning itself i told you the question is derivation of critical constants from van der waals constant so vc value we have got vc is equal to 
3b. Now by using this vc value, we are going to derive the values of pc and tc. Now, VC values are the same. This is the VC. This is the VC. This is the VC. This is the value of the PC. Okay, okay. So, this is the slide. This is the slide. Okay, now we have got VC is equal to 3B. That value we are going to substitute in equation number 2. Equation number 2 is 3VC square is equal to A by PC. Instead of VC, you can substitute 3B. Yeah. 3B the whole square. So, this is 3 into 3B the whole square. 3B the square of 3 3 is 9. 9B square. So, 3 into 9B square. 3 into 9 means 27. So, 27B square that is equal to A divided by PC. Now, we have to the PC. So, PC is equal to 27B square is equal to A. So, this equation is modified to PC is equal to A divided by 27B square. So, secondly, we have got the value of PC. First, VC is equal to VC is equal to 3B. Then PC value, PC is equal to A divided by 27B square. Okay. Now only we need the values of TC, critical temperature. So for that what we are going to do is, we are going to substitute the terms VC and PC in equation number 1. Okay. The equation 1 is here. 3VC is equal to B plus RTC by PC. Okay. Well? Okay, so here VC is 3B we know. So 3 into 3B na 9B. The Marirko. 9B that is equal to B plus this terms. Then we can bring this B this side. 9B minus B means HB. So HB that is equal to 